Um, <laughs> the question of debt is one that comes up every time, and I, I we get it, right? But if you look at the level of debt in the U.S., yes, it's a record high. But did you know that overall net wealth in the United States is actually 137 billion? So an, uh, that's an all-time record. So debt's really high, but net wealth is really high, and that's the U.S. government's debt. Consumers, right? You know, FICO scores went up during this financial crisis. All right, uh, credit card debt went down during this financial crisis. Businesses, corporations, individuals are actually in a lot better shape. I and mean, we gave people money that didn't hurt, right? But still, people are in a lot better shape as it pertains to debt. And the truth is this: our country's had a lot of debt for a long time. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. Um, you know, in 1972, when the U.S. was um, had gold was on the gold standard, right? Bretton Woods. We severed that, okay, in 1972. Uh, John Conley, the Treasury Secretary for Richard Nixon, and the way the story goes, in the room full of bankers, Conley says, "Listen, we're severing gold from a uh, U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar is going to free float no more to the to gold." Made everybody mad. He said, "You know what? It's our currency, but it's your problem." And the sad truth is that's been our policy about debt ever since. We're going to take on more debt. We've got the world's reserve currency. Back in uh, March last year, when everything's getting killed, even gold was down a lot in March last year. People were panicking, selling everything. Um, the one thing that went up was U.S. dollar. That was a harsh reminder that the U.S. dollar is the, I guess we'll call it the cleanest shirt and a dirty laundry, you know. Um, but but as long as we have that, it's um, we're going to continue to leverage debt. And again, with rates low like they are, you can finance debt. I mean, we actually paid less in the United States on our debt last year, adding trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. Than we did in 2015. How is that possible? We have a bunch more debt. Yes, but it's because rates are lower. Now, I totally get it. If the 10-year year went to 5%, what in the world would that mean? That could mean some bad things. Um, you know, But we've actually talked a lot about debt um, at LPL Research. And you know, if you guys want to reach out to Brandon, and I, I can send some of the, the many, many um, reports we've done on debt talking about some of these things. But we get it. Debt and inflation are two, two big concerns. It's just we don't think uh, it's kind of apples to oranges when you say debt's high, but everything else, of course, debt's high. You're making more money, too. Right. So it kind of makes sense. Uh, I call that denominator blindness. Oh, uh, you have to look at the denominator. Denom denominator is going up, too. Right. Net wealth is really going higher. So tough question. No good answer. But that's kind of how we see it. <laughs>